Hi there, I'm Sandy Almock here with a Bible journaling series on Advent. And for the whole series, I'm going to be focusing on Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And each week I'm going to focus on a different one of those titles And God gave me the word reveal, so I am praying for him to reveal himself as each one of these. And I'll be doing them in this rather impressionistic kind of style and showing you how I layer the colors to build up to something that looks like this in an interleaved Bible. You can also adapt this and do it in the column on the left or right of your own Bible. What I'm going to start off with is putting the color that's really warm and bright right around the flame itself and starting with um, with a, a kind of warm creamy yellow, sunshiny yellow. And whatever paints you have, you can do this with them. I use Daniel Smith watercolors and you can find lots more information about them on my my website and that sort of thing. There's lots of information out there, but for Bible journaling, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Some watercolors will give you more intensity than others. And I do like that Daniel Smith watercolors don't fade with time. So I like to use artist quality for that reason. So I've got some yellow right there in the the portion right around the flame. And I'm slowly working up to building building up to oranges and reds away from it. And at the bottom, I want to have darker color down there. But I also have these shapes. I've painted right over the shapes in my sketch. You may not have even seen it in the sketch when I started, but I have these hexagons because I wanted to do a look called Boca or Bokeh, B-O-K-E-H is the name of it. It's when you take a picture and you get those little flashes of light in the background. And I've just wanted to create that for a little bit of atmosphere around the candle. You could do these with circles or octagons or, you know, whatever kinds of shape you want. But in the sketch, you'll be able to just trace the ones that I've got going if you'd like. Or you can just draw a candle freehand. It's really easy to draw a candle. Mine has a little fancy top on it, but don't worry about making a fancy top. You can just make a straight across top if you don't want to print the sketch out and do some tracing. So what I'm doing is taking darker colors and going around the outsides of some of my hexagons that are in here. And I'm letting them kind of come and go. I didn't just outline any of them. Because if you're outlining them, you might as well draw it in with a pen. And I wanted this to be really soft, muted watercolor that blends one thing into another. So you can just barely tell the difference between each area. I want the focus to be on that flame and on the top of the candle where the the flame is lighting up the top. And so some of the hexagons are going to be painted in red, like I just painted the big one at the bottom and the big one at the top, and others will remain the yellow. And as I go, I'm just changing my mind as, as I work. So don't feel like you have to stick with a plan. When you start with watercolor, you can just build up layers one on top of another. And here I've mixed a Payne's blue-gray in with the reds and oranges that I've got so that I can get this sort of warm brownish kind of brown-blue, I'm not even sure what you call the color, but I wanted it to be really dark. I wanted it to feel like this candle is lighting up the darkness. And I'm kind of blending it in with other colors that are around here, uh, different reds and things, because I want the color to slowly get lighter at the top so it gets more red at the top and more of that really dark color at the bottom. The verse that I am I'm doing this on is actually unrelated to Christmas in any real way. So that's one reason why I haven't really talked about the verse I'm choosing for this. But my pastor had had done a sermon that really impacted me. It was about the leper who wanted to be healed. And Jesus asked him, do you want to be well? And long story short from the many things in the sermon, but one of them was talking about how Jesus knows us. He knows our condition. He knows everything about us. He knows what we need to be healed from. And I wanted him to open my eyes 
to seeing what I need to be healed from. There are things that we don't even know, but he knows deep in our hearts what's wrong with us, what the issues are that we have. And that's where I'm going with this particular page. You could do any verse with a candle, whatever you'd like. You can do something much more Christmassy than the one that I've chosen. But the word reveal is the word that he gave me as I was praying through Isaiah. And I, I just have been praying for each one of these verses throughout Advent to be ones that will reveal another deeper understanding of that name of Jesus in the Isaiah verse. So as I've been going, you can kind of see I just took the baby wipe and sort of mushed more color around and I'm not worrying about anything having sharp outlines. I just let it all kind of be what it is. Let the watercolors move into each other and then put my text on top, reveal my true condition and make me well. So that is my page for this week. I hope you'll join me again next week, and we will do another one of the titles of Jesus from Isaiah 9-6. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed and have a wonderful Advent season.